Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Biggity, back to the channel. My name is Mark Roden. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Q&A part two because I didn't know what to film and I had to go down to work today. Yeah, I'm working again, by the way. I forgot to tell you guys that. I'm, uh, uh, I, I realized being a YouTuber is fun and all, but you don't get to talk to people too much. You don't get to socialize that often. And so um, I was like, you know what? I loved my old job. I had no problems with it. Let me just work there two days a week. So I'm just working down there again two days a week just so I can talk to people, man. It's underrated. It's underrated. Socializing is key. Oh my God, I thought there was a wasp on my window, but it's a piece of grass. Either way, um, yeah, socializing is freaking key, man. So if you're, if you're like uh, feeling like stressed all the time, feeling weird, and think about your life, you know? Are you self-isolating yourself? If that's the case, man, maybe, maybe get a job. Like... Yeah, it sounds like it sucks, but I cannot believe I'm saying this, man. It's, it's helping. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I, you, no matter how much money I make, I, I think I will always be working a job from now on. I made the mistake of living, uh, living pretty much by myself for two years there, and uh, I'm, I paid the price for it, man. I, my mental health declined like crazy. It's not good to just, you know, isolate yourself and have nobody to talk to. So, take it from me, you know, take it from me. If you, if you're working from home and you're feeling like not, I wouldn't say depressed. I was definitely not depressed. Don't get me wrong. I was never in that mindset. But if you're feeling stressed, you know, and your stomach's, that was my thing was my stomach was hurting every day. And I was like, what is going on? Maybe I have some stomach con condition. And I started having like anxiety about going out and stuff. If you're feeling like that, man. Think to yourself, maybe it's something in my life. What what changed, you know, since you, you were feeling fine and since you were feeling sick? What's the difference there? That's probably the problem. It's the same as like working on a car, you know? But anyway, today's the q and A's. I don't know why I got into that little rant there. I just thought maybe it could help some people that, that might be going through something because I looked it up all the time. I was like, why is my stomach hurting? Blah, blah, blah. And I would have loved for somebody to just tell me it's because you're not socializing. It took me two years to figure it out, but I figured it out. Anyways, first question is a two-parter, so I'm going to answer both of them. How did you become a car guy or what was the first car that you liked? I'm going to answer both of those again. First off, how did I become a car guy? I was raised as a car guy. There's no no fun story there. It's not like one day I went outside and saw like a really cool car and realized, wow, I want to be a car guy. No, no. My dad raised me as a car guy. He's always liked cars. I always explain it this way. I saw somebody else say it in a comment section one time and I thought it was perfect. My dad, when I would get presents for Christmas and my birthday, instead of giving me action figures in the next Call of Duty, he gave me Hot Wheels in the next Need for Speed. That's the best way I could describe it. It's a perfect way to describe it. It was just how I was raised, man. And it worked. Uh, it worked for most of my family, too. My, I have a little brother. He likes cars. Not as much as I do, but he likes them. And then I have two sisters. And girls, in my experience, don't tend to like cars as much as guys do. But they definitely know more than the average girl about them. And that could just be because, you know, they have two brothers that like cars and a dad that likes cars. But I do think it's partially because they actually do have a slight interest in them. Um, they both have dream cars. Like my sister wants an Audi R8 V10 Plus. That's my older sister. And my younger sister likes the Lamborghini Veninos. I tell both of them keep dreaming, but <laughs> hey, they're cars, you know, and they're like actual car names and, and they do know things. Like they send me pictures of 350Zs whenever they see them because they know that I owned one and they, they know I like them and stuff like that. So it's really cool. Uh, yeah, but we were raised to like cars. And, oh, and the first time I remember liking a car, I mean, that's next to impossible to remember to be honest but the first time i can really like remember it is actually a subaru wrx and the reason why is because of need for speed most wanted i remember being a five-year-old little lad playing need for speed most wanted and i bought the subaru wrx as like my midway car and i remember falling in love with it uh, but yeah that's the first car i ever remember actually being like wow i really like this car in particular that's the first one i can remember anyways next question is this is another two-parter so What's the biggest mistake in your life? And then he said, greatest success, obviously, YouTube, which it is. Thank you guys so freaking much, man. You guys are literally my greatest success, so I really appreciate it. Uh, but then he said, if that's too personal, what's a car mod that you like and a lot of people don't like and vice versa? Uh, so the biggest mistake in my life, it's not too personal, man. I get personal on this channel all the time, man. I have no problem with that, you know? I I, I, I like getting personal. It feels like I'm talking to a couple of my friends. It's, it's actually, like, therapeutic sometimes. So either way, yeah, my uh, biggest mistake, dude, I actually gave this some thought before, like, making this video because it was a good question and I have two of them the one is what I just talked about earlier quitting my job to do YouTube full-time I really wish I had just cut back my hours instead because like I said it made me feel all stressed out and anxiety out and I have panic attacks I'm, I'm gonna be honest man I get panic attacks sometimes it makes me feel like a 
P-U-S-S-Y, uh, but it happens, you know, and I can't do anything really about it. Um, but I got over them when I was working because I was socializing. I, I, I need to be honest with myself and just tell myself, you know what, you may not enjoy while, while you're there working. You may think to yourself, you're making enough money off YouTube, you don't need to do this. But that's, but that's not why you're working, Mark. You know, you're, you're not working for money, you're working for your own sanity, really. It drives you nuts. So yeah, I, I mean, like I said, I'm working again, but it's gonna take some time to like revert all that stuff. And so for the meantime, I'm gonna be feeling like anxiety it all out again so that's never fun obviously i'm not too bad don't get me wrong don't guys i really don't want you to worry it don't don't go there being like oh no is mark like depressed is mark no i'm okay it just happens sometimes i get some stomach aches and issues and stuff like that it's not it's it's not a major thing okay so don't worry um but the other mistake uh, this is a, and this is the one i think i would actually say was my biggest mistake is dude in high school i up until like 11th grade i acted like I didn't care about what other people thought all the time and I always acted like I was this guy who was just like whatever I don't care I didn't take care of myself I was uh I was just like I was just not in a good place and I didn't really have many friends because of it and then senior year uh junior year of high school I decided you know what who cares what other people think dress how you want to dress look how you want to look it's just take care of yourself more Mark be happy be outgoing and I did and it, I made a bunch of friends and had a great time in senior year in uh, 11th grade of high school. And I really wish I had done that earlier. I know it sounds wild and I'm thinking back about it, but yeah, I really wish I had just like realized that, you know, taking care of yourself and just being like, just, just carrying yourself in a better way will make you happier and you will, people will want to hang out with you. I understand the whole like popular loner thing, you know, <laughs> some people just want to be loners and that's fine. I'm not that person though. Like I said before, I like to talk to people. I like meeting new people and stuff like that. And so I really, uh, I, 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 like I said, I just wish I had realized earlier that, you know, I should have just been myself and not worried if I was looking cool. Like it was that typical, like edgy thing, right? Where it's like, you act like you don't care, but secretly you do care. Um, and I wish, I wish I never went through that phase. I, I, I wish I just always was honest with myself and was like, yeah, I, I do care about looking good. Not because I care about what other people think of me, but because I like looking good. <laughs> I like looking good, I like dressing good, etc. But anyway, and then the next question is, what's a car mod that you like that a lot of people don't and vice versa? One car mod that I like and a lot of people don't is, uh, well, actually I have two of them. Neon Underglow. I think Neon Underglow is actually really cool and it can add a lot to a car if it's done right. And lambo doors on cars that aren't lambos i know it sounds crazy but sometimes i like it if you're going for like a stance build like a crazy over the top stance build and you put lambo doors on your car i honestly think it's hilarious and it's actually pretty cool and i respect that now obviously yeah putting lambo doors on like my integra would look ri ridiculous like yeah, that would not be that would not be cool but i i do think that some some of them look cool oh and then car mod that other people like that i don't like um I would probably say, oh, you know what? I don't like the different colored window tints. I think that's just kind of goofy. Uh, I think it's really goofy. It's squatted trucks, obviously, but a lot of people don't like squatted trucks, so that's, that makes sense. And then huge amounts of negative camber, yeah, that too, I don't really like, but those are those two make sense. But the one that I would say other people genuine, gen generally agree upon is the whole, um, different colored tinted windows I, I don't like that i just like the regular tints man just like give me some black tint it looks good oh and another thing I and mean, this is gonna sound crazy dude i honestly don't really like it too much when you could hear the turbo spool like crazy i like a little bit you know you know a little bit driving by it's like Shoo -shoo. that's that's fine but if it's like the entire noise of the car it's just Shoo -shoo 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 -shoo. i always am like that's just not it doesn't sound cool anymore it just sounds weird and i don't know i never i never really cared too much for that Anyways, next question, next question. What are your opinions on doing TikTok in the future? This is a quick one. Uh, I already do TikTok. I've always done TikTok ever since it came out pretty much. Um, I was on it before it was really that popular. My name is Smooth Stance one I believe, because I used to have a Smooth Stance account with 210,000 followers on it, but it got hacked. And so I had to restart. So now I have one with only like 6,000. But yeah, I post on it every day. I'm not too serious on it. I don't really care too much about it, to be honest. I pretty much just use it for media, but yeah. It's, it's there. Next up is what are you going to buy after you sell your Integra? Um, I wish I knew. I, I wish I could tell you, man. Uh, I, I don't know. I bounce back and forth between literally like 20 cars every single day. 
it, it is impossible for me to decide what I'm actually going to buy. I have the scare, I have the most like, the most nerves about buying something and then regretting it. That's gonna be that expensive. Because chances are, here's the one thing I will say, chances are the next car I do buy is going to be something relatively newer and with low miles that could just be a nice daily driver. That's, that's the most likely occurrence, okay? But, if that's the case, then obviously that means it's going to be pretty expensive, and I don't make a ridiculous amount of money like some of these other YouTubers you guys know, and so I, do, I don't want to spend like 30 grand on a car that I'm going to regret, so now I'm sitting here worried and thinking about is this going to be the right decision or not or whatever, and yeah, it kind of sucks, so I, I've, I, I have no idea. Um, some cars that are on my mind, I have, I'm thinking of the M340i, uh, that's the G, G20 or whatever they call them, and I'm also thinking of the 340i F30s, but I'm also thinking of a truck, a GMC Sierra 1500 or Chevy Silverado 1500. I like GM products the best. Um, but I'm also thinking of the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. Uh, I've been thinking of Q50s, Infiniti Q50s. I've been thinking of WRXs, um, G37 Coupes. I've been thinking of all kinds of different cars that I might want to acquire uh, for my next vehicle. And I, I still haven't been able to like narrow it down to just one. So who knows? you'll be as i'll be as surprised as you guys are when i finally end up buying a car uh next up is would you recommend a rear wheel drive car like a nissan 350z or a honda s2000 as a first car um so that's a weird question because i don't i will never in a million years recommend getting a 350z or s2000 as a first car no those are both really bad options they're both high horsepower tail happy cars it's not a good idea to buy either one of those as a first car however rear wheel drive cars in general yeah there are some out there that i would re recommend buying like lower horsepower rear wheel drive cars they're totally fine especially if you live somewhere like california texas florida where they don't really or socal i should say but where they don't really experience too much uh snow or, or harsh driving conditions things like that then yeah because you don't got to worry too much about about daily driving it in the winter you'll you should be fine um but it, it gets it gets really iffy depending on your situations and stuff like that. It's like where do you live? How much experience do you have, etc. If you live in a place that doesn't experience too much winter, then I you could get like an average horsepower I would say rear wheel drive car and be okay. So I'm like a uh, BMW 335. Uh, no, like a, like a like a 328i E90. Something like that, it's like, it's got, that's rear wheel drive, obviously, now the XI. Uh, but something like that, it's like, yeah, it's got decent horsepower, but it's still rear wheel drive, but it's it's not too much horsepower where you'll, you'll crash it. Something like that it should be okay for you. But if you live up in a winter area, even a car like that, I would re I would stay away from. I would, if you want a rear wheel drive car, I would go with something like a Volvo 240 or a Miata, something with very low horsepower numbers, because it's just more risky, obviously. But any, no matter who you are though, no matter where you live, no, I do not recommend a S2000 or a 350Z, because they're just high horsepower, man. To, there's a reason why they crash. It's the same with the Mustangs. It's the, that's the reason why you get all these crowd killer memes, because a bunch of young kids drop by them thinking that they can handle this horsepower and it's not yes i know on the internet tells you that a thousand horsepower isn't that impressive anymore but that is not the case man 300 horsepower is a lot of horsepower every car you see on the road for the most part does not make 300 horsepower and there's a reason for that they don't need it 300 horsepower is sports car territory if you're going to buy a 300 horsepower car for your first car and it's rear wheel drive Make sure you're, you're you're a mature, mature, mature 16 year old man. Because if not, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna crash. It. And uh, don't believe everything you read on the internet. 300 horsepower is fast. Okay. But anyway, next question. I think it's the last question. Oh, it's not even a question yet. Uh, there was two things I wanted to bring up from my last video. Two comments I saw. First off, is this guy said, dude, the fact that you said as long as you're a hardworking man says all i need to know about you i don't know if he's trying to imply that like i'm sexist but that is not what i meant um if that's what he's trying to get at if you're not trying to get at that then i apologize for even bringing this up but yeah i just said hardworking man because that's just what i thought of man i'm not my mom works hard harder than i do every day of my life my sister is a teacher a math teacher up in new york at an inner city school she deals with kids that are so disrespectful to her every single freaking day and still does it and still wants to teach these kids how to how to be a functioning member of society women are incredibly hard workers and i would never in a million years say otherwise so that's not what i was saying at all 
I have nothing but respect for women, man. I think that whole argument online right now between like man, man, and like the gender wars that are going on is the dumbest thing on planet Earth because we quite literally need each other and they're arguing. It makes no sense. It's like a car going up and being like, God, I hate tires. Tires suck, man. Look at these tires. Look how useless they are. It's like, no, you need them, okay? Did you have, like, it's so, I hate gender wars. I would never be a part of that. Sorry. So let me revert my statement. As long as you're a hardworking man or woman, I love you, okay? Uh, and then the other thing was something I wanted to bring up. Uh, last video, somebody asked a question about politics, and I knew I shouldn't have... Oh, wait, I'm not going to go that way. I knew I shouldn't have brought, uh, said anything about it, but I did anyway. I just left my opinions out there, but didn't say who I'm voting for, and I left that up to the minds of the masses. Whatever they think, they can think. I didn't really want to put my obvious opinions out there. And this is the reason why. <laughs> Some guy left a comment saying, dude, pick a side. Here's a hint for you. If, you, if you're from a working class family, and you don't like fascists, the choice is obvious. We need to know who you really are. No, that's exactly the reason why I didn't. And then as a matter of fact, the first comment, which is has a crazy like ratio, the, his original comment has one. And then this comment replying back to him has 11 likes. So it's clear that people are smart enough to see this, but I just wanted to make it obvious in case they weren't. He said, gee, I wonder why he didn't say, how old are you? Are you seriously gonna call somebody a fascist if they don't agree with you? I personally don't think most people who disagree with me are communists. And that is exactly, exactly right, man. That's exactly the reason why I didn't want to bring up any political issues. That's exactly the reason why most celebrities, and I'm not saying I'm a celebrity at all, by the way, that is not the case, but like celebrity, uh, 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 so public figures is the best way I could put it. Like, I, I don't think anybody should bring up their political beliefs because you're, most of us don't know what we're talking about anyway. Um, and then it just, it just divides your fan base and there's no point. But yeah, that's, that's, I just wanted to bring that up, man. Like, that's the reason why most people don't, okay, can you go, buddy? It's green. <laughs> it's been green for 15 years. I'm not going to send you an invitation. Let's go. But yeah, I just want to bring up those two points from the last video because I thought I should touch up on them. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to get some Burger King real quick before I get into work. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Uh, let me know what other videos you'd like to see in the comment section down below. And Das Vidania, oh God, Das Vidania, and have a nice night.